Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one we're in Deep Agent and this, this is absolutely wild. Deep Agent is created by Abacus AI and I'm going to tell you right now, they have shipped some AI agent god tier tech here. This is the best of the best. This is the best AI agent that I have used and I've used a lot of them. You look at my channel, I have covered a bunch. This is the best. It's not even close guys. It can do things like creating interactive websites interactive dashboards, deep research reports, connecting to Jira, Slack, Gmail, using the browser or any combination of those things. It can do all of that and a lot more. It's part of Chat LLM Teams. So if you've got Chat LLM, it's just one click to get going and it will absolutely blow your mind. Let me show you a few examples. Buckle up. This is the best of the best. Let's go. All right. So here we are. We're logged into Chat LLM Teams. Keep in mind, Deep Agent is a part of Chat LLM. So log in, guys. I put a link in the description below. Just click on it. You're in, sign in, off we go. Up at the top left, you'll see this little toggle side nav. Click on that button here. And then down at the bottom here, you're going to see one that says Deep Agent. That's the money shot. Let's click on that here. And presto, here we are. We are in Deep Agent, and you can already see that I've been working here. So on the left side here, you'll see the tasks. Now, I've created a book club website. I've gone ahead and created a Sudoku game that I created here. I mean, all kinds of fun stuff that I'll show you. And here's the other thing I should mention. It did it front to back, guys. It not only created it, it deployed it. It allowed me to download the files, including in the correct file structure and folder structure. Pardon me. It is absolutely awesome off the hook. That said, we got to start somewhere. So I'm going to start off with a more complicated task because I just want to show you how good this is here. So again, in the middle here, you could type what you want. I'm going to go ahead and type in, let me see what I'm going to create a uh, website about large language, oops, models. Just that simple. Literally click in what you want. Let's get the agent cooking here. Just click on the go button here. Deep agent is thinking. Now it thinks pretty quickly here. And then here we go. It's evaluating. It's going to take a few seconds. Actually, it's already done it. Never mind. I don't even have to come back. Now it's going to ask you a few clarifying questions. If I would have wrote in a little bit more of a detailed prompt, it wouldn't have asked me these things, but I left it vague on purpose. So I'm going to go, um, uh, you choose on any topic just because I want to do this quickly but if I wanted to type in you know I want it to be about uh, you know this that or the other I can go ahead and do that but in this case let's just go ahead and make this nice and quick it asks us a couple clarifying questions now watch this now it's going to think and literally I am not going to touch another button until this website is done now I'm going to go ahead and pause this here I'm going to speed it up in post-production I'm going to come back when it's done I'm going to click nothing and you're going to see how good this is all right, welcome back. So literally, I did not touch a single button and it has gone ahead and created this website. Look at this is absolutely astonishing. I have never seen anything like this. You'll see here that we've got the preview open here. I can go through it here. It's got all the sections here set up, the icons. It's got the images loaded up. It's got the content written. This is like deep research meets some sort of super AI agent meets the best of the best. This is literally God tier. I, I've used a lot of AI agents. I have never seen anything like this. Let's go through it a little bit here. So we're in the preview mode. If we want to go into the code mode, check this out. We can click on code. You'll see here, here's the root. Here is the structure. You can drill down the whole way. It did all of these pages, all of it. This is is astonishing it did it all i mean it even goes ahead and allows us to download it i have seriously never seen anything like this it's absolutely crazy anyways here's our home page we can go ahead and flip through it here it's pretty cool uh if we want to go ahead and click on the about me or the about llms you'll see here it's filled out the content and this is not lorem ipsum dummy content this is good content. You'll see here in the, uh, when it went through the research process here, it started off doing the research here. There it is right here, compiling LLM research and saving the markdown file. And here it tells us exactly what we did and what it did, pardon me. And you can even click on it if you want to see what websites it considered, where it got its information or ideas from. I mean, this is crazy. You go down here a little bit further, you'll see here it went ahead and downloaded the documentation. Then it went ahead and gave us some structure here. 
uh, there it is. There's the structure. Here's the plan. It created a plan for us. It implemented the plan, and then when it bumped into trouble, it went ahead and troubleshooted it without me doing anything. I literally walked into the other room and made myself a tea and came back, and it was still cooking. Look at this here. I mean, the application not yet complete. We need to implement several key sections, and then it just goes and does it. I didn't do anything. Guys, I've never seen anything like this, but I know you I know I'm a little bit effusive here guys, but for somebody that's done a lot of AI agent work, I have always had, you know, hand holding and you know, you got to enter this key in or you got to enter your API in or something like that. You got to do all these different steps or you got to implement some sort of JavaScript or whatever. This is nothing. This is just good to go. We get to the bottom here. It tells us exactly what it did. Here's what it accomplished. If we want to preview it on the web, we can go ahead and click that button here and it shows the preview. If we want to go ahead and deploy it, we can go ahead and do that as well. We want to view the files. We want to download the files or the plan. You can go ahead and do that. Here's a deploy button up here at the top right. I mean, I don't know, let's call this uh, Curtis. Here we go, we're gonna deploy it and see if this works. Curtis.abacusai.app. Okay, so it's gonna deploy on one of their locals. There it goes, it's deployed. What the hell? Guys, I mean, literally, I have never, ever seen anything like this. This is just, this is it, guys. This is the best AI agent on the market. I don't care who you are and what you say. That said, let me show you another example. I know I'm a bit effusive here, but hey, this is crazy. Let me show you one more example. It's gonna blow your mind too. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is the presentation functionality. We can create presentations that'll blow your mind in seconds. But before I do that, check this out here. I'm gonna go into one of the other different tabs here. This one here, if I go to the top, I said create a detailed three-day itinerary for a trip to Bali, include names of tours, restaurants, beaches, etc. My budget is $10,000. It wouldn't be that much, but uh, anyways, as an example, look at this here. It went ahead and did the whole thing, the overview, the accommodation, what I'm going to do day one, day two, et cetera, et cetera, extra evening, daytime, evening, beach recommendations, everything. It's all in here. It is absolutely wild. If I go through here, you'll see here, combining a luxury Bali uh, itinerary. It did its searching here. It's doing its deep research, and then it's going ahead and creating the content. Now, if I go down to the bottom here, it tells us what you've done, and I can even go ahead and just click on this button here and download a copy of the itinerary and open it. You can see the files here. If you want to see what files there are, you'll see here you can download the itinerary here as well. Absolute madness. Here's another quick example here. They created Sudoku game and it did it in seconds. All I did was say, hey, build a fully functional game of Sudoku. Keep it simple and functional. That's all I wanted here. It asked me a couple clarifying questions. If I wanted hints and difficulties and timers, I said, hey, make it web-based, colorful, and yeah, add some difficulty in there. And then from there, again, touching nothing, it went and did it step by step, researched it, told me every step of the way here. It's gone ahead and implemented it here. Every single thing. You can preview it, you can deploy it on the web, and you can even see the underlying code like I showed you with the website. It is all in here and you can download it. So if you want to use it on your uh, website or if you've got yourself a nice little uh, browser and you want to test it in your browser, etc., go ahead and do that. Those are just two more examples. Let's now take a look at the one I wanted to show you though, which is the research side of things, because this presentation functionality is gonna blow you away. Let's go through it step by step. All right, so we've done the detailed web example, then I showed you a couple of quick ones there with the Sudoku and the Bali trip. Let's do a presentation here. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a prompt, create a PowerPoint presentation around different benchmarks used to evaluate large language models. Literally, that's it. I'm just gonna click that button here. We hit the go button. It's doing its evaluation. It's going to ask me a couple clarifying questions because again, I didn't type in a long prompt. So I'm just gonna go how technical, uh, you know, general. So I'm just gonna go general and no bench, any, any, and what benchmarks I'm gonna use. I don't know. Uh, you decide. <laughs> there, I'm giving it decision-making power. So there we go. I don't want to be bothered. You're the AI. You're the brains of the operation. You pick it out. You decide for me. Here we go. Deep Agent is thinking. It's going to create this presentation. And again, I am going to touch no buttons. It is going to go through this step-by-step. Step. It's planning right now. I'm going to come back when it's done, show you what we got. We'll wrap it all up. Yeah, this is going to blow your mind. All right, so let's see what it came up with for our PowerPoint presentation on large language models. 
here we go. So again, it does its research for us. It asks us a couple of clarifying questions because I gave it a pretty general prompt. And then we go down here and it says, hey, creating the PowerPoint presentation. And then if you want to look at exactly what it considered here, you can go ahead and click on these little buttons here and you'll see here, it'll show you the slides and the underlying code. And we'll just keep going down here. And then it says, hey, I've created a PowerPoint presentation. Here's what it covers. Here are the slides. And then even better, when we go down here to the bottom, you can see we can download the files or we could just take a look at it online here. So if I just slide through here, what are large language models? AI systems trained on, trained on vast amounts of text data. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. There's a little, uh, little spacing error there, but that's no big deal. We get the files, we download them, we can go ahead and use them. And here we go. We're just clicking through this on preview. And again, guys, this was all done. I didn't touch any buttons. It did this all with literally one or two clicks, depending on what you put in the prompt. It is that good. This this deep agent is the best AI agent I have ever used. And I'm not saying that lightly. Abacus AI, Chat LLM, that crew over there absolutely cooked with this one. Give it a try. Links in the description. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.